Friday, 16th of June. North-South clash in the EU over fiscal rules. And key meeting this Friday. Welcome to Global Voice. The Ministers of Economy and Finance of the European Union will exchange their impressions this Friday on the reform of the fiscal rules proposed by the Commission on April 26. And, although they are not expected to discuss specific aspects of the file, they will try to identify possible common points and also conflicting. At their meeting this Thursday in Luxembourg, the Ministers had the opportunity to discuss the main political priorities for the upcoming negotiations, focusing on the way forward in order to close an agreement before the end of 2023. After the Swedish presidency managed to get the Council to agree on joint conclusions that have guided the Commission in its work to complete the legislative package, the baton will pass on July 1 to the Spanish presidency, which should lead the negotiations on the file. The person in charge of trying to close that agreement will be the Minister for Economic Affairs, Nadia Calvino, at least until the early elections on July 23. Calvino has already stated that she will do everything possible to achieve this goal. In fact, her German counterpart, Christian Lindener, stated last week in an interview with Europa Press and other European agencies in the European newsroom that he has full confidence in Calvino's leadership to lead the negotiations around the return of tax rules. After four years frozen by the pandemic, they will once again demand a reduction in the public deficit below 3% of GDP and a public debt below 60%. The proposal to reform the fiscal rules in Brussels gives governments greater power to decide how to meet these objectives, although it requires a minimum annual deficit adjustment of 0.5% of GDP up to 3%. It also proposes a gradual reduction of the debt over four years, extendable up to seven. For its part, Berlin defends a minimum debt reduction of 1% of annual GDP for countries with higher debt, as is the case of Spain, which exceeds the forecast 110.6% and 0.5% for those less indebted. Parameters that he considers plausible, despite the fact that some countries criticise them for being too frugal. This will set the stage for further policy discussions on the future of the Capital Markets Union following the approach agreed in the European Group in May and without prejudice to the legislative discussions in the Council. Sources from the Ministry of Economic Affairs, who acknowledge the difficulty but also highlight the importance of the file, have explained that Spain's approach has been, from the beginning, to try to avoid this north-south separation. Instead, they intend to seek gear bridges between different positions to achieve a joint composition of the text that can be agreed upon by the member states.